everyone, Kid Charming here. I just want to apologize for having a video up yesterday. I really didn't have time to record it. To be honest, this job is kind of different from the other one. Um, so I'm currently at home. I'll get you guys again when I get to work. But I wanted to show you guys this. So I woke up and Lena's already up. And I was like, what's going on here? She was doing something with stuff and like what's that in the container she's like it's coffee I'm like well that's a weird container but coffee and not this it was like a thing or whatever like a Tupperware container she made me a homemade ice cap it tastes really good too mm. almost identical and I used to work at um, I used to work at uh, Tim Hortons so I know but I didn't sleep well last night and she knew that so she wanted she wanted to make sure that I had something. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't sleep well last night at all. So she made me my own, my own personal like home real ice cap. But I better get going. I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, I'm here. And there's Melinda. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day today. Melinda looks like she's ready to take a nap. But yeah, so today is day three. Yesterday I learned some pretty cool stuff, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm really exhausted right now, so that's going to suck. After I'm done my drink that my wife gave me, I'm probably going to make myself a coffee. And I don't even drink coffee. I don't like drinking coffee. I don't, I, I just don't like coffee. I mean, there's coffee in the drink that Lena made me, but still, I don't, I don't enjoy coffee. I enjoy what it does, which is wake me up. That's about it. Maybe I'll get her to make one for Melindy too. Aw. Melinda, Melinda made um, meatloaf and had it on Facebook. And then my wife was like, hey, where's my meatloaf? So yesterday she brought me meatloaf to bring to my wife, which was great. Uh, they're so cute. Um, but today, like, I don't know if I have expressed to you what traffic's like. Like, I leave early... Oh, my hair. I leave early, like really early, but I also get here really early. But the thing is, if I leave even later, I'll get stuck in traffic. I'll probably be late. But it's the same on the way home as well. Like I get off at five and then the traffic at five is just crazy. Like it takes me almost twice as long to get home. Like normally it only takes me about 20 minutes to get here, 20 minutes to go home. It takes me about 40 minutes to get here and then 40 minutes to get home now. Uh, I really can't complain that much because... I mean, I used to be going home at like 12 o'clock at night or like you know, 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, I really can't complain. I'm still getting used to getting up so early. I'm not used to having a full day to actually do stuff. But yeah, I'm still getting used to that, but I, I kind of enjoy it. Um, but the people in the morning are kind of jerks. Like, they're aggressive and they try to like get in front of you. So I don't leave them any space because I'm tired of, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting. And then, you know, I gave like this, the, this much space between me and the car in front of me. And then someone's like putting their nose in and I'm like, the freak, dude, like, why are you like this? Like, I've been waiting for like, I'm on the highway stopped for like a good two or three minutes before I move again. I've been waiting. You haven't. So back off, dude, like for real bothers me so much I'm like you are not like everybody's important and stuff but you are not more important than I am where you have to go is not more important unless you're a doctor and you're late for like a life-saving operation then you have no excuse or whatever unless you're saving a life like right now no and if that's the case then why are you not why is there no ambulance I'm just saying but on the radio today, I read, like, I, I, I read, I read on the radio, uh, no, I uh, heard on the radio today about a guy, like, found out that the girl he had been with, who they don't get along or whatever, is pregnant with his kid. And now he wants to be in the delivery room when the baby's being born, and she's like, no, 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 no. But he's like, I'm the, I'm the father, I want to be there for her I want to be there for the baby yeah we are not together and 
you know, we fight a lot and, you know, we didn't really get along when it happened, but I want to do the right thing and be a good dad. And it was on the radio and they're like, well, what do you guys think? Then one woman's like, you know, she, he should be able to go in with her and blah, blah, blah. I, it's the mother, like, in my opinion, it's the mother's choice. Just like it's the mother's choice whether to keep the child or not. This is her body. She gets to choose what's happening. And I've never had kids personally, but like my, my siblings all have children, multiple children. And when you're giving birth, you're in a very like vulnerable position. Like there's already a bunch of people you don't know down behind your like your parts and stuff. You don't want someone you don't like in that delivery room. Not only that, you only get like one or two people that are allowed to be in there at a time. So he'd be taking the place of someone that she actually wanted in there, like a mother or a grandmother or her best friend or, you know, someone she's really actually close with and cares about for him because he feels like he has the right, which he said, I feel like I have the right to be in there. No, you don't. You don't. There are people who are happily married and the wife does not want the significant other in the room. And it's nothing to do with anything other than the fact that they don't want them in there. This is a very vulnerable time for them. You're going to see them in a position where, like, their fucking legs are up and, like, they got, like, a human being coming out of their yoo-hoo and, like, come on. No, you don't have the right to do anything like that. No, no. I, I disagree 100%. The fact that he used the words, I have the right to be in there. No, you don't. You don't have the right to be in there. Just like you don't have the right to tell her whether she can keep the baby or not. This is her body. She gets to choose. Now, could you be in the waiting room? Yeah. Sure. Be in the waiting room. Wait for it. Be a good dad. I'm not saying that this guy is wrong for wanting to be there for the kid. No, if anything, I commend him on that. Because there's a lot of people who are like, I want nothing to do with this kid. You know, and they're not good parents. Like, they, they're not going to be a good dad. This guy actually wants to try. He wants to He wants to be there for his kid. And I am 100%. You know what? The fact that he wants that touches my heart. But no, he does not have the right to be in there. My opinion, of course. But just like it's her body, whether or not she keeps the baby or not, it's her body where she's going to be in a vulnerable position. And if you don't like somebody, you don't want to look vulnerable in front of them. It's just common freaking sense. I, if I didn't like somebody... I wouldn't want them to be around when I'm super vulnerable, like crying and stuff. No. No. You don't want them to see you that way. So, no. He has no right to be in there. He has a right to be at the hospital to see the baby right after it's being born, but not in the actual room while the baby's being born. Not only that, I don't think he understands what he's asking for. My wife described to me that there's like a gross, strong smell that comes along with having a baby that she's like, I don't think you're going to be able to do it. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, there's a smell. I'm like, this is the first time I've heard of any smell when having a baby. And I'm not just saying because some people, you know, they, they poop when they're, they're giving birth because they're bearing down so hard. She's like, no, no, there's a distinct smell when someone has a baby and it's really overwhelming and it's really, really gross. She's like, you're going to throw up. I'm like, all right. I'll have to have, be chewing mint gum with my mouth open. <laughs> like, I mean, if I have the choice of whether I'm allowed to be in there or not, I'm going to want to be in there. But at the same time, I don't want to pass out because of the smell either. <laughs> but anyway, I'll catch you guys up when I get home. I'm going to go and chill with Melinda before our uh, shift starts. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Hey guys, I am back home. It is finally that time. I had to go home early, which is great. So I'm here home at 523. Now that's normally roughly around the time I would get home anyway. We're a little bit earlier than that. Uh, but I got out early, but I had to stop at uh, Sobeys for food because I'm going to be making shepherd's pie tonight. Yay! Um, so I said I was going to talk to you guys when I got back. So here I am talking to you guys when I get back. Um, I really need to pee, so I'm going to cut this real short and say I will see you guys tomorrow. Kid Charming out.